Howdy. I am here in scenic downtown historic Wilmington, and I'm on top of a parking garage. I think this is the ninth floor, something like that. I am tired of taking bad Polaroids. They cost a million dollars per shot, and I don't like wasting that money. So my goal is to, in the next 30 days, take one good picture a day with the Polaroid. So now that I'm on top of this parking garage, I think I'm gonna take a trip around the edge, or the perimeter, and see what the best view is. Also, it's windy out here, so sorry for wind later. Alright, so I think I'm definitely gonna take a picture of the steeple from there. I want that. I want that steeple. I want the clock tower. I want the frame. I'm going back. And I can surprisingly actually get the clock tower. Like, I, I thought it might be a little too far away. Because it looks really far away. But it actually looks more like this in the camera view, which is what I wanted. There's another church beyond it, but I can't actually see it from this vantage. Just couldn't stay away from me, thank you. Went to go play, no, 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 another bugs. Fine, I'll go on this side. I just wanted to show there was a Capri Sun straw. I'm gonna put my camera here. back up a little. It's still windy. Again, sorry, don't have a mic or anything. Or a mic. Uh, as I showed in the previous video, there's a, there's 600 film in here, 600 speed, and I have a neutral density filter on top of that film, but it is called an extra bright filter because it is one, I think it's one third the appropriate strength to properly convert 600 to SX70 exposure. Now, for my testing, having just the filter and the exposure dial in the center, the pictures come out too bright. And having the exposure dial all the way to black, the pictures, while mostly are fine exposure-wise, they still lean a little dark. Blacks especially and shadow detail get crushed quite severely. So what I'm going to try to do is shoot this one. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see that over there. Instead of going all the way to the black, where the white line is on the final line over there, I'm actually going to pull it back a bit. So instead of normal or all the way, I'm going to like right there. And hopefully that'll give me a brighter image but if there's any shadow detail, like in the bricks far away or something like that, I'm hoping instead of, I'm hoping the bricks will be kind of defined instead of just being a really dark blob of color kind of thing. I realize this is a Polaroid. <clears throat> you don't exactly shoot Polaroid for detail or color accuracy or anything like that, but it's also, one, the only thing I have, and two, I like this Polaroid makes me want to mess around. It makes me want to try different settings and things, so that is what I'm going to try to do. Also, did I mention it's 90 degrees and windy somehow? Let me go take this shot. I'm actually going to flip this around. Alright, this isn't the most flattering angle or anything, especially now that the camera's fallen. This isn't exactly a great camera angle, but I figured why not have something instead of just me cutting to the next shot. There goes the camera. Right. So as much as I want to take a hundred more pictures while I'm up here, the challenge is one photo a day. So I guess in like 20 minutes-ish, eh, might be an hour or so, I'll actually look at that picture and hope I didn't screw it up. Because I think it's a really cool picture. 
I can always come back up here and take it again. These buildings aren't going anywhere for a long time. And maybe I'll come back during this challenge to shoot something else up here, because, as I said, there's a lot of opportunities up here for shots. Until tomorrow, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back. Because I'm so lonely. Well, this was almost a disaster. The picture fell out of my pocket on the way back to the car. And of course it landed face up. Oh, I can see detail on it.